What is going on guys and gals, Brooklyn Bound the Raid Scientist here with a quick video on the Heart Shadow Exotic Sword and how to obtain the Catalyst. The Heart Shadow is a very unique exotic sword from the Duality Dungeon. It is a random drop from the final encounter that you have one chance per character per week. Once you get the sword, you want to make sure you get the Catalyst as well, because the Catalyst does two main things. First, it increases the sword ammo capacity up to 56 and it also makes it so you can run much faster while you're invisible which is one of the key perks on the weapon so it's totally worth getting to get it load up the duality dungeon fresh with the sword in your inventory you're going to need to kill three named nightmares throughout the dungeon collect the flag they provide and then deposit that flag into a specific location the first nightmare is in a large jumping section before the first encounter Make your way up to the top of this big room and enter the Nightmare Realm by ringing the bell. Then, take out the ads up top first and then jump down to the right and you'll find this named. Kill him and grab the flag that he leaves behind. Note, as soon as he dies, you'll get a timer that'll wipe you if you don't dunk the flag and escape the Nightmare Realm in time. So practice jumping where you need to go first. Timing here is kind of tight, so you need to jump up on the cross beams above you and quickly run over to the bell to the right. There is a place to deposit the first flag right behind the bell. The second nightmare is in the big open jumping space after the first encounter with all the coffins. Kill the nightmare here, and then when he dies, grab the flag. This time you have to carry it all the way to the room with the big statues, so be careful to not die along the way. You do not have a timer for this one. Once you get into this room, enter the nightmare realm and then look over for the deposit location, which is up on one of these ledges as shown. The final nightmare is right before the final boss encounter. In this jumping section, after the second encounter, you'll make your way up till you see this alcove off to the side. This is the same spot as one of the callous memories as well. Once again, kill the nightmare, and once he dies, grab the flag, and note again you'll have a timer now to escape the nightmare realm. Jump up and to the right and ring the bell to escape. Once you're back in the normal realm, look off to the right and clear out the ads up on the beams, before jumping over. The final spot to dunk this third and final flag is near the wall, and doing so will spawn the chest with the catalyst. Note, you have to do all three of these in the same run to get the chest to spawn. I would assume that if you get kicked to orbit or disconnected, as long as the other players hold the instance, it'll still work. But you can't leave the dungeon altogether and come back and finish it later. And that's it. Once you obtain the catalyst, you just need to get the 400 kills with the sword to apply it, and you're good to go. Don't forget, you can always go to Shiro Chi Checkpoint in Last Wish, or the beginning of the Grasp of Avarice, as these are the two fastest places to get kills quickly, especially with a heavy weapon. Thanks for watching, Guardians! Please consider subscribing if you found this video helpful, and we'll see you next time.